Political Parties Public Government of South Africa Political Parties Public The 2021 South African Unrest as a series of ongoing riots and protests in the South African provinces of KwaZulu-Natal and Gauteng that began on the evening of Sunday, the 11th of July 2021. The riots began as a protest following the arrest and detainment of former South African President Jacob Zuma, who was arrested after defying to testify at the Zondo Commission, a state-backed inquiry probing allegations of corruption during his term as president from 2009 to 2018. The riots began as protests by his supporters in KwaZulu-Natal before escalating to widespread looting and violence throughout KwaZulu-Natal and Gauteng. Jacob Zuma was charged with corruption in March 2018, mainly in connection with a R30 billion arms deal. The legal battle has continued from then, during which Zuma's legal team appealed for more time to prepare and try and get the charged. Dismissed. During the trial proceedings, Zuma has been repeatedly absent from the court citing medical reasons. The case has proceeded into the Constitutional Court. The protests began on 8 July 2021, after former President Jacob Zuma was sentenced to 15 months in jail on 29 June 2021 for contempt of court, after he refused to appear at a government-appointed commission investigating alleged corruption. During his nine years in office, he was given until the end of the 4th of July to hand himself in, after which police would be obliged to arrest him. However, on the 3rd of July, the court agreed on to hear his application on the 12th of July. The South African Police Service was then told to arrest him by the 7th of July 2021 if he refused to. Surrender. Supporters had gathered near his home with weapons to stop his arrest. But he handed himself over to the police on 7 July. And was jailed at the Estcourt Correctional Centre. Zuma challenged his detention on 9 July in the Peter Maritzburg High Court on grounds of health. But it was rejected. His arrest led to violent protests by his supporters. Who dubbed their campaign as, Free Jacob Zuma and Shut Down KZN. In the KwaZulu Natal province. Following Zuma's arrest, widespread protesting began nationwide, with his supporters calling for his release. The riots began on the evening of Sunday, the 11th of July 2021, when multiple news sources indicated reports of gunshots and explosions heard at local malls and residential areas. The violence quickly escalated, and by the morning of Monday, the 12th of July 2021, multiple companies and malls were forced to close following widespread looting and violence as of the 13th of July 2021. 30 people have been killed in the riots. Jacob Zuma's daughter, Daduzil Zuma Sambudla, is among those who have encouraged the looting and violence in order to secure the release of her father. Initially, the South African Police Service was deployed in the Kandla district to control the number of protests in the area. Over the weekend, as the South African Police Service battled to contain the large-scale looting and damage to infrastructure, pressure mounted on government to deploy the army. On the morning of Monday, 12 July 2021, the South African National Defence Force was deployed in Gauteng and KwaZulu-Natal. On 12 July 2021, President Cyril Ramaphosa addressed the riots, saying the acts of public violence has been rarely seen in democratic South Africa. Ramaphosa referred to the riots as opportunistic acts of violence, citing the lack grievance, nor any political cause that can justify the destruction by the protesters. He highlighted the Constitution of South Africa, which guarantees the rights of everyone to express themselves, but stated that the victims of the violence unfolding are the workers truck drivers, business owners, the parents of those who have lost their lives have all done nothing wrong. He went on to discuss the impact of the riots on the COVID-19 vaccine rollout, stating that the rollout has been drastically disrupted after prior setbacks. He also noted how the economy of the country would face further challenges due to food and medication insecurity resulting from the riots. The deployment of SANDF to assist with ending the unrest was also discussed.